Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Game Box, and today we're going to be playing a brand new game called Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. Um, and this is based on uh, the anime series. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I do like that series. It's a really cool cartoon, so um, here we go. All right, does some downloading. All right, here we go. So drag to move, all right. Hurry to the boss room. Oh, so tap to attack, okay. Wipe, side flick, okay. There we go. So it's kind of like a beat em up game. It's kind of interesting. He keeps doing this downloading. I'm not quite sure what that is, um, but it, I guess it's going to show us some of those characters. All right, here we go. Nah. Hey, are you alright? Use a teleport crystal. I tried, it didn't work. No way. No boss rooms ever had a trap like this before. The Einkrad. Liberation Army doesn't know the word retreat. Come on, keep fighting. Ready? Charge! Don't do it. Grar! <laughs> hey, hang on, Corvette. I can't believe it. Ah! Grar! No, I can't. No. No. Asuna. What the heck? Oh boy. There's the boss. The Gleam Eyes, a giant demon with a goat's head, deftly swings a colossal and mighty sword. It sits within a boss room where crystals are disabled, first of its kind. Overcome this terror and reach floor 75. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Use skill. Whoa. Nice hits. Is it over? I nearly, nearly collapsed from exhaustion when the battle ended. I glanced down at my HP bar. The red line only had a few pixels left. My thoughts were dim, hazy, and I thought back to the past. It was two years ago. At that moment, my life ended and a new life began.
This is a tale retracing memories from a virtual world. Sword Art Online Memory Defrag Sword Art Online SAO That was the name of the game that became my world Sword Art Online ran on hardware fundamentally different from previous generation tech Nerve Gear the nerve gear is a sleek helmet that covers the head and face. By sending signals directly to the brain, it can access the user's senses, giving them the ability to freely move about a virtual environment, the ultimate in VR tech. However, when SAO officially launched, 10,000 players were unaware of its terrifying secret. It was an inescapable trap, a death game. On that fateful day, I was teaching Kleina guy. I met in the town of beginnings, the basics of combat. We first noticed that something was wrong right after we beat our first mob. The logout button that was supposed to be in the game menu was gone. Suddenly, and without warning, every last SAO player was warped to the plaza in the starting town. As fear and uncertainty washed over us, an avatar in a red robe appeared in the sky. Attention, players. I welcome you to my world. My name is Akihiko Kayaba, and as of this moment, I am in control of this world. I'm sure most of you have already noticed an item missing from your main menus, the logout button. Let me assure you, this is not a defect in the game. I repeat, this is not a defect. This is how Sword Art Online was designed to be. Akihiko Kayaba, the development director of SAO and the inventor of the Nerve Gear. He told us that death in SAO meant death in the real world. The only way for us to escape SAO was to climb to the top of Einkrad to floor 100 and beat the game. Some listened to his declaration in shocked silence. Some screamed. Some broke down in tears. I was different. Glancing around at other players, I made my decision. I grabbed Klein and ducked into a quiet alley. Okay, listen, I'm heading out right now for the next village. I want you to come. Huh? If what he said is true, the only way we'll survive is by making ourselves as strong as possible. We'll have an easier time collecting cash and points if we operate out of the next village. Well, thanks, but I stood in line all night with my friends to buy SAO. I can't leave them. I'll be fine. Last game I played, I ran a guild. I'm more than prepared. And with all the stuff you taught me, I'll get by. No sweat. Okay. But if you're in a jam, you message me, okay? Sure. I'll be seeing you, Klein. Take care. I can do this. This world... This world can't beat me. I will survive. Dire Wolf. Okay. Rage Spike. This is a little bit tougher than I thought. There we go. There we go. 
Got him. Alright, so overall, this looks like a really cool game. It looks kind of like a beat-em-up um, with some RPG elements. And supposedly you can, you can actually play online against other players, I think. Um, but the story um, that it was showing is really similar to the actual anime. So anyways, this is a really cool game and I definitely recommend this so far. I mean, this is my first time playing it. But I, it looks really cool. The uh, graphics are very nice. And the story is great. So anyways, thanks for watching DJ's Game Box. And thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.